Welcome once again to Educator.com and in this lesson we will be going over the steps to understand process and the phases of cause and effect. For the, here's an example of a process. For the first step, measure out five tablespoons of coffee grounds. Put them in the bottom of the pot. Next, boil 14 ounces of water and wait to pour it into the pot. For the next step, wait two minutes. This will cause the coffee to mix with the water. For the last step, press down on the press. Pour out coffee and enjoy. That was an example of a process. I explained the steps of how to do something. And process organization works like this. First off, you might be explaining how to do something, like make coffee. Or maybe you want to explain how something works. So maybe a car engine or a computer or something else is a system or a machine and we want to explain how it works. Or maybe we're looking outside and we see a mountain, or maybe we look outside and we see a great beautiful building, and we're going to explain how something, natural or unnatural, was made. For your details, you're normally going to talk about one step or one phase per paragraph, and I'll be honest with you, process normally doesn't fit into just one, two, three. Probably going to have longer than three paragraphs. Remember, if you have more than three paragraphs, you can always combine paragraphs or combined ideas, look for steps that are similar, or find ways to make sure that the paragraph doesn't get more than six, maybe seven at the most.